So I want to share with you why I became a personal trainer, because it's not a likely story. So when I was in high school, I didn't like PE. I mean, I like some sports like soccer, but I wasn't very good. And hurdles and basketball were difficult for me because I was short. So at the time, my mom was trying to lose some weight, so she wanted me to encourage her by doing her Jane Fonda tapes with her uh, when I came home from school. So I started doing that and I loved it. And so even when my mom would take breaks, I would keep going because I was enjoying it so much. So then I went away for undergrad. I joined a gym and I uh, decided to take some group fitness classes and I loved it. <laughs> so I decided to become a group fitness instructor. I taught high low aerobics, uh, step aerobics, you name it. Fast forward a few years, I realized that working with people one-on-one -on -one suits my personality better and I'm better able to see how people are doing. I can track their progress because they're not coming in and out of my group fitness class where I have no idea what's going on when they're not there. So I decided to do my certifications and uh, my practicum hours to become a certified personal trainer and I have been doing that for over 20 years. So I do not come from an athletic background. I'm just a regular gal who decided to change her life around, made some mistakes along the way. And so I feel that I am really well positioned to help people, regular people who are going through the same thing, who need to make changes and are finding it challenging because change is hard, period. So that helps me to relate to my clients because I'm basically just like them. I just had a different path.